Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. For today's project, I am excited to use some new product from the new upcoming annual catalog by Stampin' Up! So we're going to be using the Eastern Beauty stamp set, which you guys have seen me use before, and also the Eastern Medallion Thinlets. So if you missed my video earlier this month, I shared with you that these items are available in two exclusive bundles in my online Stampin' Up! store. We have a starter bundle and a premiere bundle. So Stampin' Up! did a pre-release of these items from the upcoming annual catalog, which is so amazing. So if you missed my video where I shared with you exactly what's in both, both of those bundles, I'll link to that just below this video in the description notes so you can check that out. And these two bundles are only available from May 1st through May 31st. So come June 1st when the catalog goes live, all of these items will be available for purchase, but individually, not in this bundle option, which is an amazing saving plus you get free gifts when you buy one of these bundles and I'm offering a free online class if you purchase one of these bundles between now and May 31st which I will send to you um, in an email the online class video so here's today's project today I'm going to share with you how to make these super cute hinged tea boxes and I have to admit I am pretty impressed with myself for designing this box. Um, the hinge came about really by accident. Um, I'm, I'm still not even sure how I ca how the, the hinge happened, but um, it happened but it, and it's pretty cool you guys. I'm pretty impressed with this box. So the other day when I was at Trader Joe's, I came across these Moroccan mint green tea bags and I absolutely loved the name of the tea bags and I thought, I love our Moroccan paper that's in our current annual catalog and it's on the retirement list and I thought this would be a great idea um, to make one final project using this paper and make this uh, cute little tea box. So that's really where the idea for this project came about. I know several of you have um, reached out and asked, how do I create my boxes? So really what I do, I think the easiest way is to have an object in mind. So I knew that I wanted to create um, a box to fit two of these Moroccan mint tea bags. So I took two tea bags and I just measured. I measured from left to right, which was about two and three quarter inches. Then I measured from top to bottom, which was about three inches. And then I measured the depth, which was about a half an inch. And from there, I created my measurements and then I just kind of toyed around um, with the length of the cardstock until I got it right and then the score lines. So that's really kind of where my beginning um, thought process starts when I'm creating or designing my own box. All right, so to get started creating our box, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite tools, which is our Stampin' Trimmer. Um, this tool is amazing. It has two blades. You've got a cutting blade and a scoring blade. Your cutting blade is the darker one. Your scoring blade is the lighter one. We're gonna use the scoring blade. So I'm gonna move that cutting blade out of the way because I have accidentally cut instead of scored. So for your cardstock, I'm using some um, Delightful Dijon cardstock. This is a retiring in color. And it's one of my favorites that's retiring, so that's part of why I'm using it. Plus, it matches the designer paper. So this is cut at three and three quarter inches by eight inches, okay? So I'm gonna slip this into my Stampin' Trimmer. So we're gonna start by scoring at three inches, then at three and a half inches. Then we're gonna bring out the arm of the trimmer and we're gonna slide down to six and a half inches, and that's actually the mark right at the hinge of the scoring, uh, the Stampin' Trimmer. So I'm gonna score there, and then also go down to seven inches. Then you wanna rotate your paper, putting the short side at the top, and slide it over to the right side to the half an inch mark, and we wanna score, and then rotate around and score your other long side at half an inch as well. Okay, and there we go, we've got all of our scoring done. So since we're working with cardstock, it's gonna be really important to make sure that you use your bone folder to um, burnish all of your score lines. That's just gonna help building your box. It's gonna make it a lot easier to work with your cardstock. So I'm just burnishing all of these score marks. All right, so I've got that finished. So I've got a template here just to kind of show us what our, once we start doing our cutting, this is what the finished product should look like. So let's go ahead and you'll want a smaller pair of scissors 
um, to do this. So what I'm gonna do is start down here at the bottom of my box and I'm going to angle out. And this is gonna be important um, to help us when we go to hinge the lid over. So angle out. Then come over here to this smaller tab and we're just going to cut along the score lines and then we're going to notch out um, on the sides of that score line. Okay, and then let's do that on the opposite side as well. Cut up and then notch out. That'll just help those tabs fold up a little bit easier. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and we're going to cut up again to the score mark. And then we're going to angle in Okay, just like we kind of did down here, but we're angling in, and then we're also going to notch out on the little tab. Oops, I forgot to cut. Cut, notch. Okay, so now you've got this. Then we need to also angle out right there, okay? Now rotate around. Well, before we do that, let's angle out right here. Rotate around, cut up to the score line notch in, okay, and then again, oops, I'm trying to get my angles right, angle, there we go, okay, so these angles that we've created, those just help when we go to do the hinge, alrighty, Alright, so now that we've got that done, I want to go ahead and add my designer paper to my box before we put it together. So I've got some of the Moroccan Designer Series paper, and this is cut at two and a half inches by two and three quarter inches. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this panel on. One down here. This one is the front of the box. And then one more up here. This is the back of the box. And then for the flap of the box, I've got another piece, and this is cut at uh, three and a quarter inches by two and a half inches. So I'm just gonna center that up just like that. Okay, there we go. So now we can start putting this box together. So I've got the hinge or the uh, lid of my box up here at the top. So what I wanna do is take these flaps, these little flaps here, these little tabs, and I wanna add a little bit of fast fuse right there and right there. Got some here on my desk. Then right here at the bottom, I'm gonna push these flaps out and I'm gonna add adhesive on the inside of these two flaps. Okay, so we've got adhesive on the inside of these flaps and on the outside of these two flaps. So now what we want to do is we want to tuck this little flap right inside of our box. Just tuck that right in. Okay, do that on this side, tuck it in. Now these two flaps are going to come onto the sides and fold towards the back because we want the seam at the back of the box. We don't want to see that at the front. Okay, so just like that. Okay, so now this is what we have. Okay, it's coming together. So now we're gonna add adhesive to the outside of these two little flaps. And just be careful, you don't wanna tear those flaps off. So add your adhesive on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck those flaps into our lid. Okay, just tuck those right into our lid just like that. And now you can just hinge that right over. Look at that, isn't that so cool you guys? I love this box. Now if you notice on your box that you've got some little bits of cardstock kind of hanging off, just take your scissors, that's just from creasing and folding, just take your scissors and cut those little bits off. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this back up and I'm gonna go ahead and slide my two tea bags, which fit perfectly into my little box. What a sweet little gift you can give to someone. I'm gonna hinge that back over and we're gonna do some stamping. All right, so I've got a scratch piece of Whisper White cardstock here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my inch and a quarter 
circle punch and just punch that right out. I'm gonna bring in my Emerald Envy ink pad and we're going to stamp this little flower image right here. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping off. So I'm just gonna bring in some scratch paper. I'm gonna ink up that little flower, stamp off, and then I'm gonna stamp it on uh, right here. Okay, ink it up again, stamp off, and then I'm going to stamp it on again right about here, just like that. Then I'm gonna bring in my Delightful Dijon ink pad and I'm gonna stamp the Enjoy Today in the Delightful Dijon right about there. Okay, just like that. All right, so now I've got my big shot here. I'm gonna put down my magnetic platform, one cutting plate, and then I've got a piece of gold foil here. I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna take out from my Eastern medallions, this little uh, medallion here, and we're just gonna put that right on our gold foil, put another cutting plate on top, and just run that through the Big Shot. All right, so once you run that through the Big Shot, what you're gonna notice is it doesn't actually cut it all the way out of your foil. So I'm gonna bring in my paper snips and I'm just going to lift this up and get right in there and I'm gonna snip it right out of my foil. Just get your scissors in there and snip. All right, so I've got that gold foil all cut out now. So what I'm gonna do is take my sentiment, flip that over and just add a couple of dimensionals to the back. Okay, and then we'll just add that onto the center here of our die cut. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and add one of our small gold enamel shaped circles or dots. I'll just put that right about there. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm gonna go ahead and add some dimensionals onto the back of this piece as well. You know what, I think two will do. Okay, so now I've got some of our Emerald Envy Taffeta Ribbon. I love this ribbon and I just didn't get to use it as much as I really wanted to. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of this. And I'm going to tie it in a bow here. Well, not really a bow, it's more of a knot off to the left of my box. Just a very simple little knot. Okay. Just like so. Just like that. And then just snip it off here. Okay, so there's our little our little knot and then I'm going to take the backings off of my dimensionals and I want to put this on up kind of high so that it it helps to keep our hinge down in case it wants to slip up so you just want to get a little bit of the hinge behind that so I'm just going to press this down and then that way you can just kind of slip the hinge behind it just a little bit to help keep it in place Okay, and there is our finished tea box. Isn't this so cool, you guys? I absolutely love this box. I love it. All right, so there we go, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, you can head on over to today's coordinating blog post. I've linked it just below this video in the description notes. You can find all of the measurements as well as all of the supplies that I used today over there. And you can order any of those supplies by visiting my online Stampin' Up! store. So thank you so much again, and I will speak to you again very soon. Bye now.